Hello friends, I'm Brian Shercliffe here with an invitation to standing meditation, which might seem like a strange thing. Now, of course you could do this in a chair, <clears throat> especially if you wiggle toward the front and you're comfortable and stable on the chair. But if you can, I invite you to, to give this standing meditation a go, only if it's easy for you, of course. And uh, as the story goes, this is the story of Tai Chi or Qigong of course, the standing meditation. And as the story goes, a parent would take their child up the mountain and this child, eight or nine years old, maybe younger, and the child would be invited to stand there. To stand there tall and easy, easily. For an hour every day, for a year. Can you imagine what you would learn as you stood there and let your eyes be out on the horizon and you breathe? What would happen for you? So of course, this video is not going to last for a year, but you, of course, could pause the invitation here and stand there. I'm recording this video inside just so that you can hear me, not hear the wind uh, cutting in and out, though that is a great gift. I usually do this every day, just about every day outside. I like to do it in my bare feet in the backyard, at least on days when that's possible weather-wise. And uh, perhaps you might be interested in that too. There's something about one's naked feet touching the naked earth and uh, see what you notice. So standing here and then eventually shifting a little weight onto your right foot and stepping your left foot out just a little wider, shoulder width, and just bending your knees just slightly, almost as if there's like a little ledge or a bar stool behind you and you're just sitting on, the, on that ledge and start to feel the strength, the stability of your feet to slowly allow your arms to come up in front of you. And then begin to, once your hands are chest tight, begin to turn your palms so that they're facing you, your chest, yourself, as if you're holding a big ball within your arms. And you just breathe and relax and stay here as long as you wish. Maybe you're already ready to, to let it be over. If that's the case, just allow your hands to roll down and let your arms move back out. Shift a little bit of weight onto your right foot so you can slide your left foot underneath yourself a little bit more. And then super slowly let your hands come down. your sides, noticing every little sensation in your arms. Now, I like to use this as an opportunity to, not only for myself, my own benefit, but to benefit all those who've asked me for, uh, to pray for them or meditate for them or things that I'm trying to be attentive to in, in the world. And so I invite you to another experience, if you wish, of standing and then eventually bending your knees, shifting a little weight onto your right leg, stepping your left foot out just a little wider underneath your left shoulder, and bending your knees, sitting on that little ledge or bar stool, and then feeling the power of your feet, that's right, to begin to bring your arms up in front of you. Let your shoulder height. Turn your palms to face you. And here you are holding this circle, this ball of sorts. And when I do this in the mornings, I just allow, as my teachers did, and my, one of my teachers, Nanga Talona, invited us just to begin to allow things to swim into this circle as I remember him sharing with us, at least once, in one of his visits to Cincinnati. 
you know, so-and-so kind of just moves into that space as if you're holding space for this person who's asked you for prayer, meditation, to hold this person lightly, easily. And then maybe another and another and whatever comes. It's as if you're just lightly inviting some space for that person to discover, well, at least, that you are loving them from a distance, praying for them, being with them, allowing them to grow as they would like. Allowing as many ideas to come and go through these arms, and then as you're ready, begin to allow your hands to roll down, your arms move back out, shift a little bit of weight onto your right foot and slide your left foot in just slightly and allow your arms to come down super slowly as long as it's okay for you. Again, just to feel the sensation in your arms as your hands come to your sides. And of course, you return just like that child on top of the mountain, learning to meditate standing up. Imagine just the, uh, the electricity that has to run through you, through your nervous system, from neuron to neuron to neuron, to keep you upright. There's something wise about sitting up and meditating. There's something wise that Tai Chi masters discovered in standing up to meditate. So wise, in fact, that they wanted their, to invite their children to that experience. And perhaps you invite that child within you to this experience and see what you discover. I'm grateful to all who have taught me Tai Chi and Qigong through the years, especially Vince Lasorzo at White Willow School of Tai Chi here in Cincinnati and to all the greats, including Nanga Talona, who I've mentioned before, um, all the great people that have shared this discipline, this invitation, this opportunity to move and breathe and rest, certainly for one's own health, but hmm, maybe for uh, the health of the world, the growth of the world, that we might all find a new way forward on this planet together. Peace, friends.